Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS25 Let's Map video. Or maybe I should rather say FS22 Let's Map video. The map will be for FS25, but as I don't have the new Giants editor yet, as everybody else, I'm still working in the old Giants editor for FS22, but in the end the map will be for FS25. This is about my upcoming map Sommerfeld, a German map. Here you can see the real map. And at the moment I'm working on the background and I did a lot with trees and such. And then I built new houses that only need very, very little polygons. And therefore they are performance friendly. And yeah, now I have to remove my old little villages and build new ones. I already built this tiny little village in a German video. Ah, and here we have a farm with the new buildings. And they they look like toy buildings. And if you come close, you see they are really only distance buildings. So they uh, can't be compared or they can be compared to the buildings that are for the real map and the yeah when you compare them you can see oh those are only good for long distance watching but that's why I made them and they have very very uh, few polygons only and therefore they are ver very suitable for this uh, distance stuff and here are also built a church and yeah, we have a um, farmhouse here. I also included a farmhouse because in villages where I live, we uh, very often have old farms in the center of the village. And usually they don't work anymore as farms, and but they are still the old buildings. And here I have some shop buildings. like so, a little bit different sizes, everything very simple. And I will change this ground texture and I can't paint it in Giants Editor as on the real map, but I have to make this in a um, graphics program like PaintNet or GIMP or so, because this is not part of the map. And it only looks from the distance as if it would be an elongation of the map. And I really love it when I see Oxygen David's maps and he usually has real life um, maps. So he make a map with a real life surrounding and then he can take the satellite images from the surroundings and make it as matching as possible. And I really love his backgrounds from the maps. They are wonderful. He's such an artist with this. And for me, this is different. I have an invented map. So no, I can't say, oh, this is this uh, small village there and you can find it on the real map, but it's more like Giants makes it. Um, I choose a region and then I let it look rather similar, but it's never a real place. And therefore I can't take a satellite image and use it completely for the background. And but I added some parts of satellite images from here, for example. And I thought where would fields be suitable in this landscape? And then I put them inside. 
And also with the villages, I just have to think where would a village be a good idea. And now you come into the game. You can watch me build a second little village. Before I had my old background houses, they look rather similar to the new one because I made the new one inspired by the those old ones. But th those here, they have a lot of polygons because they use all this system with the um, um, fake rooms inside and so you can't even see it, but it's still there and they are rather complicated buildings. And here you can see and this is the whole stuff. And I think it's number eight. Is it number eight? Yes, it's number eight. It has more than thousand polygons, which is completely okay and would be even uh, very, very little for a house that you put on your farm. Um, Usually you have at least 10,000, but for such a background house, it is too much. And then I made mine and let's just take this. This has just 92 polygons. And yeah, I can make um, 10 times more of those houses as with the older houses and that's why I will remove them. First I just make them invisible. So now they are gone. And then we build the village with those houses here. I think here this is so small we don't need a church. So it will be a village without a church. Just two rows or so as we had it and maybe with one little shop house in the center. And then we could build a new farm over there. And I think then the video will already be more than long enough. So let's check. <laughs> it is those. Maybe I just group them together. Oh, a hut would be nice too. Yeah, I take all those. Oh, those are not all. Ah, here. Top, top, top. Come on. Yep. Group them together. And then I can copy them. I just want to keep them here, the originals. And now I have a new group and put it here. Zip. So fast. And maybe you think, oh, I can't build on the grass. That's true. Um, I will change this later. But as I already said, I can't paint it in the Giants editor because it is not part of the map it is yeah it is just a um, 3d object with a normal texture N no normal map with a, just a typical texture a normal map is something uh, special in the 3d editing world so now Ah, and I put it in the area village above fields. I already prepared it. Good. Now I take those houses here and put them somewhere else. This No, those are the square houses. I put it... First I put it here. And then the other one maybe just here in the front and then I have the storehouse and here we have quite a slope. 
I made the sauces with a very long base that I can cover some slope areas, but this is still, it's too slopey for this, but I think I can just push them inside. So, this will be the only shop, maybe in Germany it's typical when you have um, a small village and there is only one thing, or oh, usually you also have a church. Even in so small villages. Hmm. Let's see whether I can make the church smaller. Not all not all villages have churches in Germany, but most of them. And so it's, yeah, I had a, how, a village with, I was living in a village with just about 20, 30 houses and it had a church. And then, which is also typical, even in the sl smallest village, they have um, a tavern or um, it's not a restaurant, it's a bar, but more rustic. So no, no bar that is only, oh, this is much too big. First, I should remove the hut. And then I will have to look whether it will still be okay if I make it much smaller or, or if it would just look off. It looks more or less off. I try to make it more... Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hmm. Is that okay? I'm not so sure. Maybe a little bit wider. Oops. But sometimes the the churches are not so high in smaller villages. Hmm. Let's see whether it looks different to the one we have there. And this looks bigger, I think. It is bigger. Or maybe I could just make um, a church-like building with the hut so I put it to the side <laughs> I could bury it <laughs> no that's not good um, where do I have I have this up here this hut here and it there and then maybe just a simple house this one So let's see whether we can construct a very, very simple church. So this could be a little bit bigger and higher. So like that. And then It 
if I make it much higher, <laughs> maybe it's working. <laughs> and then a little bit wider. Maybe more like that. And then I try to turn it. No, I think the other way around is even a little bit better. That could be a very, very small uh, village church. So let's see. Can we make it like that? No, this is too high, this, uh, this door. So better hide it. Yeah. Now maybe we turn the whole thing. So we turn the whole thing around and let it face the village. Oh, this is... <laughs> that was not planned <laughs> to make such strange experiments. then it would be better to turn it when I make it in this direction. Come on. Oof. Yeah, no, it's falling down. <laughs> Why doesn't it want to? It's a little bit off now. So, Maybe I just make freeze transformation that helps usually. No, it still, look what it does. Very, very strange. So the rotation would be around the Z axis. Um, now it's nearly 90%. Let's see. Then it's, no, this is not the right thing. Maybe when I change it like that. Very, very strange. Sometimes it, things happen like that. Ah, and we have the freeze transformation. And now it's the y-axis. Yeah, it, it worked, but not exactly how I wanted it. No, no, it's good. Okay. Okay. I think I just leave it. So. And I think we could uh, let it be a very small, very, very tiny uh, village church. Um, usually in German we would call it Kapelle. I don't know whether Chapel is an English word at all. But a Kapelle is a small church in German. So now I make this a little bit narrower. Oh, and it was flying quite a bit. And later, when I'm working on this 
a texture file, I will go and make a small road here. Okay, now we can go on and put this house over there. Okay, and this hut could be somewhere here, just standing around. And let's see how big do I want this village to be. Maybe some more houses in this direction. Then that could be even, come on, further away, yes. Yeah, oh, what I was uh, going to say is, um, in Germany, even the small villages usually have a church. And what they also have is this tavern-like uh, building. So in, it's a building um, where you can have something to drink. And the farmer and people who live there, they are going there after work to have their beer. And also you can have simple food. And it depends on when it's a little bit bigger. Uh, you can have quite a variety of food. And if it's on the smaller side, you only get very simple food. But sometimes this very simple food is, is very delicious. And yeah, they make basic delicious food. So, and maybe I turn this and we don't make it so perfectly matching. Oh, and maybe we should make everything a little bit in an angle. Let's see how the slope is going. So it would be in this di direction, the curvature. So, yeah, and Okay, this is the copy already. We don't have shops in this very small villages. Nothing at all but this tavern-like building. And in other countries, for example, here in France, where I live, um, they don't have a tavern in every village. When the village is bigger, yes, but not in the smaller ones. So it really differs from country to country. So, okay, this is the copy already. Then I take this and bring it out here. And maybe I turn it around. And here I want to go up a little bit as well and this is the copy again and should i make it look in this direction i think rather not because this type of um it's not a Gable, it's more than a gable. 
The gable would be just this. I forgot how this is called. But when it is looking out uh, such a part of the building, um, then this is usually showing to the front. No, no, not like that. Here is the ground, okay. And, okay. My idea about this little village is that the, the road is here in between the houses and then they have backyards uh, to the back. So, rather small backyards. So now I have to pull them out. Okay. And here. And maybe this a little bit further in this direction. No, no, no. Here we are. Okay, now we have a road that is not straight, but a little bit uh, on the curvier side. And here I will do the same. And maybe I just copy, no, not this one, but the others. Well, it's a little bit mixed, but why not? Like so. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just okay as it is. And the other one. And this will be turned. And this also. And I think this will be the end of the village. And then I'll add this over here and then that one over there okay wonderful and i take a copy of this farmhouse and maybe even the barn why not a smaller version of the barn Yeah, come on, like so. What is this? Ah, this is that. Yeah, it. So, okay. Because m most of the villages in Germany, they are, um, they started with a farm. So first we had, oh, oh, this is too big. I put it to the side first. So usually there were one or two farms in the beginning and they were bundled together so or grouped together. And here I make it much smaller. Okay, maybe even like that and then not so much smaller and this will be mm, 0 0.7 here. 
Yeah, and then more and more houses uh, came as an addition to the farm buildings. Maybe people who worked at the farm and they built a house in the neighborhood or the the child childs of the the children of the farmers they they didn't want to live at the farm when they were adult and they they had a different job so they wouldn't work as farmers and but they wanted to live there and yeah, and so and so forth. And then they built their houses uh, in close vicinity to the farms. And the village where I live, which is um, a French village, but very close to Germany. And the whole center is filled with small farms that are no more working as farms. And I think out of 10 of those um, former farms, there are two that are still working as farmers and the others not. And then around this, um, this center of the village, with, which is very farmy completely, then uh, other types of settlement and residential houses started to um, to becoming normal, and yeah, and then a little bit further away from the center, there is another group of small farms, and then around it more residential buildings. And it is very interesting to look and you can really see, okay, there was a rather big center with a lot of farms and then 100 meters to the side, another three farms. And at the other side of the village, another little group of farms and then it grew together and now it's everything full with buildings. And you, but you can still see, okay, this building group has been a farm and so therefore they have they have barns um, close together and very often they have um, walls around their their lot but here i won't make walls so i think we have enough buildings for this village and i like it much better than the village before now it would be nice to have some trees around and maybe even some tree groups behind that it is a little bit sheltered in a way. First I will make those houses invisible. They are in this group, okay. So we don't need them anymore. And then maybe I take this group here. Come on. Yes, here we have it. Make a copy of it. And then put it in the back, like so. And we leave some place for the gardens, the uh, gardens that I imagine. Okay, and maybe just another one, like so. Here. Maybe a little bit behind, only a little bit, and then up. Okay. 
and then we could make another one maybe here and there that this doesn't look so so barren. I left it empty when making those forests because I thought okay here I want to make the village and therefore um, I don't know where I need the place, the space. Oops. And those groups, they are all grouped together, so I can't uh, remove single parts out of it. But those here, uh, they are just small groups. And they are good for in individual placing. So, hmm. Maybe when I push it a little bit further behind. You see what the problem is here? It is floating. A little bit of floating is okay, but not too much. And yeah, I think I can leave it like that. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. And then one or two behind. That it's not just around the village like a fence. So. Okay. And one more, and then we look at it from further behind, whether it looks okay. So maybe a little bit in this direction, because if you play, you see it from there. So now we go in this direction. Yeah, this is okay. Oh, I think I like it. Now this area where I just put three of those tree groups, it looks like a little forest. Yeah, I think it's a friendly village. And later it will be become even better when I made the roads. But now, as the last task, I would love to add some pop uh, some oak trees there. Um, now maybe I try to grab one here. This is also very always very difficult to grab because. This is, oh, that was easy this time. And this is just a plane, as you can see. And the wonderful thing is it turns with, with the viewer, the tree, but not the plane. And when you see the tree, uh, you don't know where the actual plane is that you can click on. So now... We leave this here and bring one there and then we just add some of those here and there like so maybe behind the barn and then over there oh and I should check whether they are flying sometimes no they are not flying this is good when it's close to a building or other object, they tend to just fly around. So we make two of them close together. And maybe... Oh, where is the last one? That one? 
I make this smaller, 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, maybe even smaller, smaller. So 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. And maybe you heard about, oh, it's not allowed to scale the trees when building a map. Yeah, that's true. But those are no trees, <laughs> these trees. <laughs> they are just small decorative objects. And they only look like being trees. Oh, this would fly. And as they only look like trees, so where is it? This one, yes, exactly. Uh, the typical rules for the real trees, they don't apply. Those can be easily scaled up and down. So, look, it's nice. I like it. Yeah, even if it's not really finished because of the, the ground texture, I think it's quite nice for a distant village. And now we go back to the island yeah, this the island is the closest part of the map where you can see this. I think it looks okay. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And let's see it from the side. So if you are here, maybe I make a little harbor or such here. Yeah, I think it looks okay. And then there is the other village. Okay. So when I'm done and I made all the little distant farms and I have another village at the other side of the map, um, then I will make a video, a showcase video, where I show you all this background work that I made. I show it in-game and then you can see the tractors driving in the night. And right now I only have those night tractors on this side, but I have a different area where tractors are driving and uh, this will be done by then. And then you can see how it looks in-game in FS22. To see it in FS25, I think it will still take a while. But I hope I can manage it rather fast after release. Okay, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.